Today I learned that despite having literally thousands of dinosaur fossils, we've never actually recovered dinosaur DNA. Not once. Most of what we know about these ancient giants comes from bones and teeth the hardest, most durable parts that can survive millions of years. But here's the problem. Hard tissue tells us structure, not biology. What we really need is soft tissue. So muscles, skins, organs, the stuff that reveals how these creatures actually looked, lived, and functioned. But there is one place where we may find soft tissue, and it's actually in hard tissue. Blood vessels weave through our bones. And physicist, yes, a physicist named Jarrett Leo Mitchell just found them in the most famous T-Rex fossil ever discovered. Mitchell is doing his PhD using physics to revolutionize fossil analysis, which is honestly one of the coolest career combinations I can imagine. And he didn't find these vessels in just any dinosaur, he found them in Scotty, the largest, most complete T-Rex specimen ever unearthed. Scotty had a rough life. The fossil shows multiple injuries from fights or disease, including a massive partially healed rib fracture right here. If you break a bone, your body floods that area with blood vessels to heal the damage. Mitchell's team found exactly that, an extensive network of now mineralized vessels in Scotty's injured rib. But examining them presented two massive challenges. First, how do you peek inside ancient bones without destroying a priceless fossil? And two, even if you could, would any organic material actually survive 66 million years? And this is where the physics comes in. Mitchell used synchrotron light, essentially a ultra high intensity X-ray from particle accelerator labs to analyze these tiny structures without cracking anything open. It's kind of like a CT scan that goes down to the molecular level. The results? they successfully identified preserved blood vessels as iron-rich mineralized casts. But unfortunately, no organic matter, specifically carbon, was left in the vessels. Although we still don't have any dinosaur DNA, this is still an exciting step in understanding more about these creatures in ways we couldn't before. If you like science we're sharing like this, then follow us everywhere at Today Learn Science at TIL Science.